I'm going to discuss with you Bohr magneton. What is Bohr magneton? Bohr magneton is the smallest unit of the magnetic moment. Suppose if you consider an a consider a magnetic substance, there are many atoms present in it. There are many atoms present in it. So an external magnetic field is applied. What happens is uh, first of all no external magnetic field. I'm sorry. First of all, how this magnetic moment is formed? Suppose consider an atom, an electron will be revolving around it nucleus right for every atom electrons will be revolving around the nucleus which constitute the magnetic moment for that particular atom for every atom and the overall magnetic field magnetic moment of the complete atoms will constitute the magnetic moment of the substance Suppose consider this an electron is moving around the nucleus that is there will be the magnetic moment for this particular atom which is called which is the Bohr magneton that is there cannot be the smallest unit of magnetic moment than this particular electron and we know the dipole moment of the magnetic moment can be can be said analogous to the current passing in a wire see now consider our main figure that is the electron is moving around the nucleus what is current current is nothing but the moment of the charged particles that is electron is a charged particle and it is moving around the nucleus that the rate of change of the motion of the electron is nothing but the current that is this motion then there is current moving around this loop and this is this loop and there will be the magnetic moment in this direction and that magnetic moment is defined as we had we have seen in our previous videos it is the multiplication of the current and the area of the loop okay now we have understood the basic property of Bohr magneton. This is the Bohr magneton is nothing but the smallest unit of a magnetic moment. Now we will find out the value of the Bohr magneton. Suppose consider an atom that is an electron moving around the nucleus. That is, this is nucleus and electron is moving around the nucleus. And this is plus charge, right? This is plus charge and the electron will be the negative charge as we know. And when a particular electron is moving around the nucleus, the force which makes an object move around a circular motion is the centripetal force. That is, there is suppose this is the radius of the motion, or this constitute the radius of the motion, or radius of the motion, and then a centripetal force that is m v square by r. And this is this thing m v square by r is equal to the coulombic force that is this is the positive charge and this is the negative charge and there will be the force of attraction between both which is called the coulombic force that is q1 q2 by 4 pi r square where both q1 and q2 are are equal that is e square by 4 pi r square right when the coulombic force is equal to the centripetal force then only electron can move around the circle and we found out the velocity of the electron that is moving around the nucleus that is this and when I substitute the charge of the electron to be 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs and radius of the motion r is 5 into 10 power minus 11 meters and mass of the electron 9.11 into 10 power minus 31 kg then the velocity of the electron found out to be like this that is 2.3 into 10 power 6 meters per second this is a quite huge velocity and the electron is moving in a circular motion that is the perimeter of the circle will be the 2 pi r that is the distance covered by the electron in one cycle is 2 pi r and the velocity we have calculated now so we can calculate the time taken by the electron to complete one complete cycle that is this some seconds seconds this is seconds and the current constituted by that moving electron is charged by the time taken by it to complete one cycle and that is this if you observe this then this is when a, when a single electron moving around the nucleus will cause a huge current of 1.1 milliamps. And I know the magnetic moment is current times the area. Area is nothing but pi r square. When I calculate that, that comes out to be 9.3 into 10 power minus 24 amperes per meter square. Thank you.